It's right near your foot, honey. It's right near your foot, honey. There you go. So pretty. <laughs> Smells something 1.7 miles away, huh? <laughs> Titus, bud, come on. What are you doing? And even though wolves are related to dogs, they're actually the ancestors to our favorite canine friends. There's actually about 40,000 years worth of evolution and domestication between them. Wolves walk in a straight line, whereas dogs walk with more of a curve. Wolves also have curved canines, whereas dogs have straight canines. And dogs have a bite force that averages at about 700 pounds. That's the uh, strongest one that was cons uh, that was recorded. Wolves have a bite force that pretty steadily averages at about 1,400 pounds. So that's one of the many reasons why I'm not trying to reach in here and pet them or feed them from my hands. I do actually like my fingers very much. Hey, just boy, come on. Here you go, bud. Now, does anyone have any questions? Are they naturally hunting so here? Pretty. So we do feed them so um, a total of four pounds of raw meat. We do also feed them a very high protein grain-free dog food as well as a mixture of fruits and vegetables. But if anything does end up in this habitat just because of how the fence is, like squirrels, chipmunks, birds, be a photo. Um, once a flock of turkeys got That's in here, <laughs> um, they will catch them. This isn't something that we can prevent or try to control, and we don't really want to try to control it either because it is a natural behavior. Um, and we do want to try to show the public as natural behaviors as possible. Like if you watch closely with the animals, they are showing levels of dominance or submission. Like there whenever Zara approaches Della here, because Della's at the bottom, she will kind of touch the tail, and Zara has her tail up more. These are very natural wolf behaviors, and we want you guys to experience that. What's the one over there? What's so the one on the far right? Yeah. So that's uh, Riva, that's our beta. Titus here is our only male, so he's the alpha male by default. Nova, this cream-colored one right here, she's our alpha female. She's actually the smallest wolf in our pack. Zara, the Arctic wolf, she's our subordinate. And Della, of course, right here in the front is our Omega. No, so because um, our two alphas and our betas are actually litter mates and Della's their cousin, um, we have spayed and neutered them because we don't want our pack to increase in size. If packs get too large, they will splinter and there can be um, increased aggression and we don't want that to happen. And also because if we did breed them, we would have to find them homes as well. If I'll we were to provide them space and that's an expense and a headache process that we don't want to have to deal with. So the animals from now on, you guys look. see, we are not breeding and they have been uh, spayed and neutered. I'll take a pup. Next, you're coming up guys. So pretty. It's always been about five wolves. That's the gray one right there. That's Nova. It was also five individuals. But all right, guys, we're going to continue on then. I don't want to stay right here. I'm enjoying these guys. I love, I love wolves.